So we want to prove that 5 cubed plus 8 cubed plus 11 cubed minus 1320 is divisible by 12. Obviously we're not going to use a calculator here and I'm going to use a special method to prove our point even though there might be other methods to solve this problem. But before I start with the solution, please consider subscribing for more contents like this and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. So first of all, I'm going to start with the number 1320 and I'm going to factor it out. If I do that, I will have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 11. Then notice that 2 times 2 times 2 is the same thing as 8, so I can basically say that 1320 is the same thing as 3 times 5 times 8 times 11. And notice that our number is 5 cubed plus 8 cubed plus 11 cubed minus 3 times 5 times 8 times 11. So I'm going to replace 5, 8, and 11 with A, B, C accordingly. So A equals 5, B equals 8, and C equals 11. And we want to prove that A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed minus 3ABC is divisible by 12. To do that, I'm going to factor this expression out. And to do that, first of all, I'm going to add and subtract the expressions 3a squared times b and 3b squared times a. Next, I will rearrange the terms in a way that I will have a cubed plus 3a squared times b plus 3b squared times a and plus b cubed and plus the rest of the expression. Then notice that I can rewrite the first four terms in the form of a plus b quantity cubed and that's because of the binomial theorem. Based on the binomial theorem, a plus b quantity cubed is the same thing as this expression here. Now notice that I have a plus b quantity cubed plus c cubed, so basically I have a sum of two cubes. So based on the sum of two cubes identity, I can factor these two out as a plus b plus c times a plus b quantity squared minus a plus b times c plus c squared, and notice that these three terms have a common factor of negative 3ab, so I can pull that out and I will have negative 3ab times a plus b plus c. And that's great because we have a common factor of a plus b plus c. So if I factor a plus b plus c, I will have our expression equals a plus b plus c times some other expression that I don't care about. Now the reason why I don't care about this expression is because I did all of this to show that our expression is divisible by a plus b plus c. So I showed that a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc is divisible by a plus b plus c. Now notice that a is 5, b is 8, and c is 11, so our expression is divisible by 5 plus 8 plus 11, which is 24. So a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc is divisible by 24. And we know that 24 is divisible by 12. So if you put these two together, I can say that our expression or our number is divisible by 12. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. And I will see you later. Goodbye for now.